Design the rectangular key for a shaft of diameter equal to 50 mm. Sharing and the crushing stress of the material are 42 megapascal and 70 megapascal. So we want to design here the rectangular key and the diameter of the shaft is known equal to 50 mm. We have given the value of diameter D that equal to 50 mm. Value of the sharing that is tau alloyable is given is equal to 42 megapascal and the crushing stress is given as sigma cr 70 megapascal we have to find out here the dimensions of the key that is the width thickness and the length we have to find out length we can find out by equating the torque transmitted by shear with the torsional shear strength the torque transmitted is given as t is equal to pi by 16 into d cube multiplied by tau so we have pi by 16 Diameter of the shaft is same as equal to 50, so we have 50 Q multiplied by the shear stress that equal to 42. This value will come in Newton mm and is close to 1.03 into 10 to the power 6 Newton mm. And the shear strength T we can calculate as the shear force multiplied by diameter divided by 2. We have shear area is the area of the top that equal to width multiplied by length. This one is same as the thickness. So we have W multiplied by L multiplied by tau multiplied by D by 2. So equate equation 1 with 2 to find out the length of key. As far as the standard dimensions of the key is considered, we have width is same as equal to D by 4 which is equal to 50 divided by 4 is equal to 12.5 thickness is normally taken as two third of the width which is same as equal to d by 6 that is we have 50 divided by 6 50 divided by 6 is close to 8.33 mm so if i equate here equation 1 with 2 i will get w into l into tau into d by 2 is equal to 1.03 into 10 to the power 6 here w we can write as 12.5 length we have to find out tau you have to substitute as 42 diameter you have to put as 50 divided by 2 is equal to 1.03 into 10 to the power 6 solve this you will get the length of the key so if you solve this you will get l is equal to 79.25 mm in the similar fashion we can compare the torque transmitted with the crushing strength so we have crushing strength is given as the crushing force multiplied by d by 2 as far as the crushing strength is considered, you have to take the half of the thickness multiplied by length. So that will be equal to T multiplied by L divided by 2 multiplied by the value of crushing stress multiplied by D by 2. That is equation number 3. Again we compare here the torque transmitted with crushing strength that is equation 1 is equated with 3. So we have T multiplied by L divided by 2 multiplied by crushing strength multiplied by d by 2 is same as equal to the torque transmitted is 1.03 into 10 to the power 6 thickness you have to use as d by 6 is 8.33 so we have 8.33 2 and 2 will become 4 multiplied by length multiplied by sigma crushing is equal to 70 multiplied by diameter equal to 50 is equal to 1.03 into 10 to the power 6 now you will get here two value of l for safety you have to select always the larger value of the two design process so if you solve this you will get this value close to 142 mm so taking the larger value of 79.25 and 142 we have length of key is equal to 142 mm 
the width and the thickness you have to always maintain standard that is a rectangular key width is equal to d by 4 and thickness equal to 2 by 3 times w and in the square key the width and the thickness are same so in the case of rectangular key we out length is obtained equal to 142 mm A 45 mm diameter shaft is made of a steel with a yield strength of 400 megapascal. So we have given here the shaft of diameter and we have given the value of yield strength that is SYT is given equal to 400 megapascal. So diameter of the shaft is equal to 45 mm and we have SYT1 for the shaft material is given as 400 megapascal. A parallel key of size 14 mm width and 9 mm thickness. So we have given here the dimensions of key. We have width W is equal to 14 mm and thickness T is equal to 9 mm. Made of a steel with a yield strength of 340. So we have SYT. We'll use the suffix 2 for key is equal to 340. So you note here that we have different value of yield strength for shaft and the key. Find the required length of the key if the shaft is loaded to transmit the maximum permissible torque. Again you have to equate the torque transmitted with the torque transmitted on the basis of shear and secondly the torque transmitted with the torque transmitted on the basis of crushing. Use the maximum shear stress theory and assume a factor of safety equal to 2. So if we use the maximum shear stress theory then tau allowable is given as SYT divided by 2 divided by a factor of safety. So we need to calculate the value of tau 1 and tau 2. So as per the shaft is considered we have tau 1 is equal to SYT 1 divided by 2 times the factor of safety. Factor of safety you have to take as 2. So we have SYT1 is equal to 400 divided by 2 divided by factor of safety equal to 2. 400 by 4 is equal to 100 megapascal is a permissible shear stress in the case of shaft. Similarly we have tau2 is equal to SYT2 divided by 2 times of factor of safety. As far as the key is considered we have SYT is equal to 340 divided by 2 divided by factor of safety equal to 2. So permissible shear stress in the case of key is equal to 85 megapascal. First we calculate here the torque transmitted which is given as T is equal to pi by 16 multiplied by D cube multiplied by this time we are selecting the diameter of the shaft so we have to select the tau for shaft which one is same as tau 1. So we have pi by 16 diameter you have to take as 45 so we have 45 cube and the value of tau 1 is equal to 100 solid this much is newton mm the torque transmitted is 1.8 into 10 to the power 6 newton mm now consider here the failure of key in shear in that case we have torque is equal to the force in shear multiplied by d by 2 is same as equal to tau this time we have to take the tau of the shear that equal to tau 2 area in the shear is same as w into l and multiplied by diameter divided by 2 is same as equal to the torque transmitted which is equal to 1.8 into 10 to the power 6 tau 2 you have to take as 85 width is already known to us is 14 length we have to calculate this time we will calculate the length based on the shear diameter is equal to 45 so we have 45 divided by 2 is equal to 1.8 into 10 to the power 6. On the basis of shear failure, we get the length L is equal to 67.2 mm. 
Now consider the failure of a key in crushing. In that case, we have torque transmitted due to crushing is a crushing stress that is sigma CR multiplied by the crushing area is T by 2 multiplied by length multiplied by D by 2 is equal to the torque transmitted is 1.8 into 10 to the power 6. Value of the crushing strength is not given. So assume sigma crushing is equal to SYT divided by the factor of safety. Or we can take the value of sigma CR is equal to 2 times of tau, which is same as equal to SYT divided by mm -hmm. FOS that equal to 85 plus 85 is equal to 170. So sigma crushing will take as 170. So we have 170 multiplied by value of thickness is equal to 9. So we have 9 divided by 2 multiplied by L multiplied by D by 2 is same as 45 by 2. On the right hand side we have 1.8 into 10 to the power 6. So on the basis of crushing we will get the length L is close to 104.6 for safety purpose you have to always select the larger of two value so taking the larger value of l we have required length of key is 104.6 mm or we can approximate is equal to 105 mm also A square key of side D by 4 is to be fitted on a shaft of diameter equal to D and a hub of a pulley. The material of the key and the shaft is same and the two are equally strong in shear. What is the length of the key you have to find out. We have given here a square key. For square key we have width is given as D by 4 as well as thickness is also given as D by 4. And the material of the key and the shaft is also same that is the value of tau 1 is equal to tau 2 is equal to tau that is tau 1 is for shaft tau 2 represents the shear stress for key is same as equal to tau in this case we have to find out the length of the key we know that the torque transmitted ET is equal to pi by 16 d cube multiplied by tau 1 where tau 1 is a shear stress of the shaft material and if we consider the failure of the key in shear the torque transmitted is given as tau 2 where tau 2 is the shear stress of the key material multiplied by the shear area which is w multiplied by l and we know the value of w is same as d by 4 into radius that equal to d by 2 so we can equate these two and we can find out the length l so comparing we will get pi by 16 into d cube tau 1 is same as equal to tau because both key material and the sharp material are the same value of shear stress multiplied by tau multiplied by width that equal to w multiplied by l multiplied by d by 2 so tau is get cancelled on both side one of the d will be get cancelled and here we left here with d square this 2 is get cancelled and 16 we left here with 8 this value of w we can replace as a d by 4 so we left here with pi into d square divided by 8 on the right hand side w is replaced as a d by 4 multiplied by l again one of the d will be get cancelled and 4 is cancelled then 2 is left so we have a length l is same as equal to pi multiplied by d divided by 2 pi d by 2 pi d by 2 choice b is correct choice a square key of side d by 4 each and the length l is used to transmit a torque t from the shaft of a diameter d to the hub of a pulley assuming the length of the key is equal to the thickness of the pulley the average shear stress developed in the key you have to find out so you have to consider here the failure due to shear so again in this question we have given the square key and each side is equal to d by 4 
so we have width is equal to d by 4 as well as thickness also equal to d by 4 we have length is equal to l we assume here that the material is same for both that is tau 1 is equal to tau 2 is equal to tau that is the shear stress for the sharp material is same as the shear stress for the key material Tor transmitted is given as torque is equal to pi by 16 into d cube into tau 1 where tau 1 is a sharp shear stress if we consider the failure of a key in a shear so this area represent here the shear area and this shear area is same as equal to w multiplied by l therefore if we consider the failure of a key in a shear we have shear force is tau 2 where tau 2 is the shear stress of the key material multiplied by the shear area is w into l multiplied by d by 2 for average shear stress we will only consider the failure of the key in shear so we have torque is equal to tau 2 is replaced as tau multiplied by w which is equal to d by 4 multiplied by l multiplied by d by 2 so we have torque is equal to tau the shear stress multiplied by d square multiplied by l and divided by 8 so in this case we have shear stress will be equal to 8 times of torque divided by d square multiplied by l 8 times of t divided by l d square our choice c is correct 8 times of t divided by l d square for a rectangular key of length l equal to 160 width is equal to 45 mm and thickness t is equal to 30 mm which is equally strong under the shear and crushing then which of the following relation holds good that you have to find out so consider here a rectangular key whose width w is equal to 45 mm the thickness t is equal to 30 mm and the length l is equal to 160 mm the key is equally strong under the shear and the crushing key will fail in shear as well as in crushing so this area represent here the crushing area so this acr is equal to t divided by 2 multiplied by l whereas this plane represent the shear area and this shear area is same as equal to as is equal to product of w multiplied by l so if we consider the failure of a key in shear in that case the shear strength will be given as tau multiplied by shear area that is w multiplied by l multiplied by d by 2 and if we consider the failure of a key in crushing in that case we have torque is equal to crushing stress multiplied by crushing area is t by 2 multiplied by l multiplied by d by 2 he says that the key is equally strong under the shear and crushing so we have to equate equation 1 and equation 2 so if we equate it we will get tau into w into l into d by 2 is same as equal to sigma cr into t by 2 multiplied by l multiplied by d by 2 d by 2 and d by 2 is gate cancel even the length is also gate cancel we want to find out the relation between sigma cr divided by the shear stress so we have sigma cr divided by shear stress tau is equal to w multiplied by 2 so we have 2 times of w that is the width divided by thickness 2 w by t that will be equal to 2 times width is given as 45 so multiplied by 45 divided by thickness that equal to 30 90 divided by 30 so this answer will be equal to 3 so the ratio of the crushing stress to shear stress come out to be 3 so our choice b is correct choice a square key is used to key a gear to a shaft of 35 mm diameter the hub length of the gear is 60 mm the shaft and the key are to be made of the same material having an allowable shear stress of 55 megapascal that is both value for shaft and key tau is given as 55 a torque of 395 newton meter is to be transmitted the dimension of the sides of the square key you have to find out 
since we have a square key, width and thickness are same. So again, we have a model of a square key and we have a same material for shaft and key. So we have tau1 is equal to tau2 is equal to tau is given as 55 megapascal. 55 megapascal. And we have diameter D is equal to 35 mm. The hub length L is same as equal to key length is equal to 60 mm. And torque is transmitted is 395 Newton meter. So we have torque is equal to 395 Newton meter. The dimensions of the sides of the square you have to calculate. That is value of W and T you have to calculate. So in shear this area represent the shear area that is equal to W multiplied by L. So we will consider here the perimeter of a key in shear. So we have torque is equal to tau multiplied by shear area W into L multiplied by D by 2. We have torque is given as 395 Newton meter that you have to use in Newton mm is 395 into 10 to the power 3 is Newton mm. Shear stress is equal to 55 megapascal multiplied by width W multiplied by the length. Length is given as 60 and the diameter of the shaft is given as 35 that is 35 divided by 2. Once we find out the width, then the width will be same as equal to T for square key. So if you solve it, in this case, you will get the width is very close to 6.84 mm. And for square key, we have width is same as equal to thickness because we have a square key. We can approximate the width and thickness is equal to 7 mm also. Always better to go for higher value. A sunk key is equally strong in shearing and the crushing. If the crushing stress is three times the shear stress, the ratio of the width to thickness of the key you have to find out. C is interested in the ratio of the width to thickness. We have to consider it is a rectangular cross section. So we will consider a rectangular key of width is equal to W, thickness equal to T, length equal to L. So this green area represents the crushing area T by 2 multiplied by L and this dotted line represents here the shear area that will be the width W multiplied by L. And he has given the crushing stress is 3 times the shear stress. So we have sigma CR is given as 3 times of the shear stress. So we will compare here the shear strength with the cr crushing strength. So this idea about the failure is same in all the cases. So here we have considered the failure of a key in shear is given as tau multiplied by W multiplied by L. W multiplied by L is the shear area multiplied by D by 2. And if you consider the failure in crushing, in that case we have sigma CR multiplied by T by 2 multiplied by L. T by 2 multiplied by L is the crushing area multiplied by D by 2. Since we are interested to know the ratio of the width to thickness, so we will equate 1 with 2. So we have tau multiplied by width w multiplied by length l multiplied by d by 2 equal to sigma crushing multiplied by t by 2 multiplied by length l multiplied by d by 2. Here d by 2 and d by 2 is cancelled out, length is also cancelled out. And sigma cr we can replace as 3 times of tau. Then we can find out the ratio of the width to thickness. So we have ratio of width w divided by thickness t is same as equal to sigma cr divided by 2 divided by tau. At this instant, we can substitute for sigma CR is equal to 3 times of tau. So we have 3 times of tau divided by 2 times of tau. Tau and tau cancel and we get this ratio is equal to 1.5. The video you are watching is from the app which is the more class app available on Google Store. And in this app, we will cover all subjects involved in mechanical engineering for GATE. Join the course directly from your mobile. The link is given here.